So right now we want to bring in Genki Kino with the National Weather Service via Zoom. We're talking about the eruption effects and how it affects the atmosphere, the nearby climate, and especially the air quality. Genki, I'm so glad you could join us this afternoon. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, we talk. We we b briefly mentioned uh, that ash advisory, but maybe if you could, for our viewers who are watching right now who may not know what an ash advisory is, could you help to explain that a little bit? Um. So you know, we issue the ash ash fall advisory when there's a likely occurrence of ash fall. Um. You know, even little amounts of ash fall can you know cause respiratory issues and it can harm crops and animals. So that's why we issue uh, ash fall advisories. And I think we 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 noticed the, that ash fall uh, earlier in the years in uh, 2018 in Mauna Kea. I, I think what they described it as was uh, was like Pele's hair, and sometimes it kind of has a, those glass fibers. But when we talk about those advisories and those who have respiratory uh, uh, problems, problems breathing, can the winds uh, help to move Vog and and the ash? Can it help to carry it and travel far? Uh, yes, um, you know, so right now, uh, you know, we have that weather disturbance, so the atmosphere is unstable. So a lot of the particles have been rising up into the upper levels of the atmosphere. And, you know, when that uh, volcano erupted today, um, earlier today, uh, you know, we saw cl cloud tops up to like 45,000 feet. And at that level, the winds were strong out of the west and southwest. So any of that particles uh, moved off to the northeast. And it's really not just uh, watching out for our Hawaii Island residents, but residents across the state, because some of the disturbances, some of the winds can help to make it travel to some of our neighbor island friends. So do you have any recommendations for residents, perhaps those um, who are possibly using AC units too? Um, I mean, I guess, you know, it's, it's best to, uh, you know, stay indoors. And, you know, right now we have this unstable, uh, you know, atmosphere, but over the next few days, things are gonna stabilize. So that's gonna allow those particles to get trapped in the lower levels of the atmosphere. So depending on what, you know, the eruption does over the next few days, uh, we could begin to see more, you know, vog uh, potentially as the atmosphere stabilizes. And, and Geki, finally, my last question to you, because I know you guys are constantly monitoring this uh, ever-changing situation and developing situation. Now, that advisory that we talked to uh, talked about earlier, it's canceled now, but what are the things that you folks consider to restore it? Um, so, you know, the eruption, you know, from the caldera has ceased, so, um, you know, unless we see another eruption, um, uh, ash fall advisory is probably not going to be reissued. Um, so that's kind of what we're monitoring is another eruption. But things constantly developing. And Genki, we so appreciate your time. And of course, for all our viewers that are watching this right now, we will post this on our website. It's KITV.com. Genki, we appreciate your time this afternoon. Hey, thank you.